Um, hello everyone, this is the Irish Eye. I'm here with the wonderful Gavin James. Hey, now it's Paris. Before. Paris one. Thank you. And Humble, we'll look at him. He's just about to start his first gig in Australia at Black Bear Lodge in Brisbane. So Gavin, first of all I thought, because it's your first time in Australia, mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you a little bit of Aussie slang. Alright? Because I don't want you to be stuck and I want yeah, you to yeah, feel cool. like you can... All right, so I'm going to show you words, and you're going to say them, and then you can All guess right. what they mean, okay? Okay. Do you know what this one means? Um, those underwear that is not shorts underwear. So, budgie smugglers? I don't get the budgie Close. thing, because budgie... Well, well I'll, 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 I don't know if I want to explain it to you. So, budgie smugglers... You definitely explain it. Uh, speedos. Ah. Uh, so, you wear them swimming. Okay. So, you've got the visual of the smuggling of budgies. Oh, no. So do you prefer budgie smugglers? Or? Yeah, uh, budgie smugglers is better, better than speedo. <laughs> okay. Sounds way cooler. Alright, this is another one. Stoked, like really excited. Stoked? You know that one? Stoked! Really it's excited. Is that no, that's Australian. Yeah, but never happened bargain. Bloody you? Bloody oath? Bloody oath. Bloody oath. That's a... Uh, do you know what that means? Someone who's drunk? No, but... Someone who's really large? So... <laughs> Actually, I'm in, sure in Ireland that. you do say oath, don't you? This is oh, we say oath, as is, as be So said. bloody oath nice. is, is something that we say, and we're like, yeah, bloody oath, like for emphasis. Like, yeah. is Gavin James awesome? Bloody oath, he's awesome. I like that. Yeah? Cool. You know? I'm actually keep on. Can you kind of yeah, keep them, take them with you, ring me anytime? I'm actually stuck. Yeah, I live on stage. Okay. Stage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent, thank you. Cool. Cool, alright. No so, bogans. Bogans. Yeah. I'm so in trouble for teaching you that. Yes, yeah, terrible. Don't know. Okay, so listen, Gavin, it's been such a huge couple of years for you. Um, yeah. You've been noticed, well, you've opened for Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, um, the code line, the stage for Sam Smith, some huge names. Um, has it been has it been quite surreal? Has there been any really standout surreal moments of the past? Yeah, there was a couple. Yeah, it was very cool to get to go to the States. Well, the first time I went was to the code line, that. Yeah. And it was, it was like a tour, amazing tour. Had an amazing time. It's kind of like all over your means. Yeah. Hot list, so it was very fun. But um, after that, we did the Tori Kelly tour and then the Sam Smith tour in America. And that was the Sam Smith tour. It was insane. So big. We got to yeah. Red Rocks, where Sunday wow, was. Yeah. And stuff. Got to rob like a rock. So they don't, they shouldn't know that. They're probably like a shouldn't be rock. telling people that. Wallet. Yeah, actually, I, <laughs> I think so that's that. illegal. That's fine. Those are rocks. But um, yeah, pretty much did that and then did Croke Park with Ed Sheeran, which was actually the, probably the scariest thing. Ever. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. I actually don't know how many people. I think it's in 90. I think it can hold, yeah, 80 90, to 90. 90 yeah. So. I don't know, because I went to Wembley to see him. Okay. And then it looked, I don't know, which is weird. I don't know, it's very scary. It's very scary you can walking imagine. out. And it's good. when you get nerves like that, like what do you do to calm your nerves? Or do you just. Yeah. I would find like a really quiet spot and just yeah. chill. Okay. Because I'm not I'm not used to anybody when I'm nervous. Like 20 minutes. But usually it's 20 minutes before a gig. Okay. Yeah, and it just all comes in, like, oof, no matter how big the gig is. If, even if I'm not like. At like a pub, and I can see somebody playing, they're like getting up in a bit. I'm like, ah, oh, it's the same, which is all I can't talk to anybody. Yeah, I just get real quiet. I'm pace. sure you'll, you'll get your kind of rhythm as you go along, and yeah. you'll get your oh, little you rituals. Oh, I'm so bad. Like, I've, well, I've been doing it for a long time, but well, not a long time, like five years now, and I'm still the exact same. Still get the worst <laughs> nerves ever. It's horrible. I like question everything. I'm like, nah, can't do it. Do you know what? I think if you don't get nervous, something's wrong. Oh, yeah, you know? I hate that. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that's great. You feel like you're too good. <laughs> I'm not getting nervous. Well, it's, people are different now, I suppose. Um, you're, it's your first time into Australia. Yeah. Um, what What are your impressions so far of the place? It's good. Everybody's very similar to back home. Everybody's very nice. It'd be very funny. Very, uh, just kind of up for the planter. Yeah. Really good. And it, well, actually, in saying that, I've, I've met mostly Irish people over here. Okay. So, like, okay. there's a lot of Irish people. But I did the yeah. oh, whole okay. koala. It was nice. Oh, it's a bit of fun. Because we're in Brisbane where now. Where was that today? In um, the pine. Oh, Lone Pine. Lone pine. Okay. It's good. Yeah, it's a bit of kangaroo. I love that you yeah. said koala and not koala bear. Koala bear? Because they're not koala bears. They're not bears. No, they're, they're marsupials, they're not, so, like, not mammals. Chill. They're ridiculous. Yeah, chill. well, they sleep for 20 hours a day. Yeah, for them. Yeah, good on them. Mm -hmm. Such is life. Okay. Yeah. Um, cool, so you've been to you've been to Brisbane. Have mm -hmm. you been to Sydney yet? Yeah, we stayed in Sydney. We've gone to Sydney Sunday, so we've been there for a couple of days. Okay. So we got to see most of things. But um, we've kind of seen everything at night because of the jet lag, and then we sleep a lot. Yeah. So, uh, so it's pretty much like koala. Bear. Koala. <laughs> Koala. Not bear, not <laughs> just a um, yeah, no, so did that for ages. Woke up and seen the Sydney Harbour and all the kind of bridge cool. and the, the Opera House. And okay. It was cool. It was that night. And then I went to Bondi Beach at night. Okay. Too ginger. And we got to go there. <laughs> yeah. okay. The writing of your songs, so you write all your own music. Yeah. Um, is it based on your own life and experience? 
experiences because I, I was listening to the album um, last week actually and I love it, it's very really, nice. cool. really lovely to listen to. Um, but it's quite, I suppose it's quite somber a lot of the words and yeah. is it, are you the next Adele writing about all her breakups? I don't know, like, a lot of it, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, most of the album is just kind of, oh, I don't know why I did that, it's not at all. <laughs> um, it's the whole album as well. Um, anyway, yeah, it's all about just kind of everything that's happened to me since I was this size until I was this yeah. size. And yeah, it's just about kind of friends, like having shitty times with friends mm. and uh, just breaking them like first girl and all that kind of stuff that everybody goes through yeah. at least once or twice or three times. Um, and just like I had a really rough time in school, so I wrote a lot about that, put that in the record. Some songs actually sound like, like lovey songs, but they're mm -hmm. not they're interpreted. They interpret I think a lot of the songs are interpreted. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, the next one is going to be real happy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay, it's going to so be a little faster, a bit more solid. And, uh, big weekend for the Dubs. Or yeah. big last weekend, rather. Were you watching the match at all? Yeah, I watched it. It was like, oh, like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was in you. bed. So it's kind of like doing that thing where it was like, yeah, yeah. it was good. Yeah, yeah. in your jet lag state. Yeah, it was fine. I just kept falling asleep. Are you much of a Gaelic fan? You know, I watch it. I will watch it. Um, definitely watch it all the time, but uh, I wouldn't know too much. Okay, so it's only time for, for one love. Yeah, like life. I love going to it. Yeah. Like well, you played at Croke Park. Like, yeah, I did Croke Park, yeah. Which is yeah. amazing. Only How? person that ever played there that can't kick the ball. <laughs> Like but yeah, no, I did. It was amazing. Yeah. And how, like, how did the whole Ed Sheeran thing come about? I mean, no, no, cool. <laughs> does he just cut? Like, why was he in Ireland? Or he did um, like, a secret gig in in Dialsport. Uh, you know, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that, and um, I was I was out. My mate called me, said he was just there. Ran in. I kind of just came. Yeah. And my mate Jamie Lawson was doing uh, okay. a gig there as well. So he was there yeah. afterwards, and then just having drinks, and then like, kind of let's go. Like, I just kind of passed the guitar around, the kind of Irish thing maybe passed the guitar around. Yeah, great. did that and then just jammed for the whole night and then I just kept meeting him on the road and stuff. I was in America at the same time, he was in America. And just a lovely guy, very nice, normal, normal guy. He's, very cool. he's really cool. He's super nice. And gingers. And gingers. Ginger power. You've got to stick it to you know? <laughs> No, it's great. Well, not many people. It must have been a huge compromise, I suppose, to, to get yeah. Ken Shear and seal of proof. Yeah, it was very nice. The crunk packing was definitely a thing to get. He just kind of told me, we're in Wheelands, and he just showed across the room and said, Gav, do you want to do Gav? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, amazing. It's cool. Very nice guy. Yeah. Where do you see yourself going? Like, what, what's next for Gavin Where do you... Just travel. I'm going to go to Singapore after this, and then go to the UK to do a tour, which we found was the biggest one we've gone to now. And then after that, I'm going to go to America, Canada, okay. Europe. I'm going to finish in Dublin in three arena, and then I'll finish for Christmas. Wow, so, yeah. so Christmas, so that's three, three months of solid gigging? Pretty much, yeah. So I get to travel a lot. Okay. Stuff, and fun. how do you manage life on the road? Like, do you have a girlfriend or is there... Oh, I'm seeing I'm seeing I'm seeing yeah. at home, yeah. So I've actually loved it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's really, it's fine. It's yeah, not bad. it's easy to manage. You I get can. home, I get home quite a bit. Like, I get home after this for four days. Yeah. Face time, so. Yeah, it's a lot smaller, I suppose, these days with FaceTime and Skype yeah, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah well, listen, all the very so best good. tonight. So lovely to chat to you. Lovely.